standing by with Kareem Hunt. And I know that you, you walked over here with a huge smile on your face. It must feel great for you to be back in this space as a Cleveland Brown, but this time seven and three. Where are you as an individual with the way things have unfolded this year? You know, uh, you know, it's unfortunate the way it happened and the reason why I'm back here, but, uh, you know, it's no place like home. So uh, I have to say I'm, I'm grateful to be back on this team. Uh, I love this team. I love the Browns my whole life. And uh, the biggest thing is we just got to keep winning. There's one goal. I came back, and that's just to win and whatever it takes. When you run the ball, you, you run angry. You run with the purpose. And you're finding the end zone this year. How does it feel to contribute the way you have contributed to a team that's now – a half a game out of first place. You know, it feels great, man. And I, I, I give a lot of thanks to the old line for doing a great job. But one thing about them, I'm telling them I'm bringing it every play. Like, I'm going to, you know, give them everything I have on every carry. No matter, you know, if you whiff on a block or miss a block or something like that, I'll, I'll figure it out. Just move to the next guy. I'll try to, you know, make something happen. How are they doing it with this offensive line? It's incredible. <laughs> and this offensive line works hard. They don't give up. I feel like our whole team is like that. We're playing for one another. And uh, if we keep that up, there's not very many people who should, can beat us. I love it. I know the guys back in the studio are anxious to throw questions out. Go ahead, guys. Hey, Kareem, you know, you've been in a huddle with Deshaun, P.J. Walker, and now DTR. What, is, what have you seen from DTR? Like, what's the different mentality of these guys? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that, that's a tough situation, just getting thrown in there. And uh, I've seen him, uh, you know, grow over the last couple of weeks and just, you know, lock in. He attacked the game plan, and, uh, you know, you can see a whole different side of confidence from him. And uh, it's just, you know, it's exciting to watch because I know he's a hard worker, and he's going to give it his all each and every play. Y'all should see him when he doesn't have the ball. He's trying to go throw blocks on people. <laughs> You know, Kareem, uh, listen, man, I hope you know there, there's a large contingency, contingency of people that was ecstatic when you got back on this team. Like, I was I was salty that you left to start with, but now that you be back and, 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 and get and scoring the football on the goal line, I mean, just talk about your nose for the goal line and your mentality down there because we only try to see – we try to see 27 on the goal line. In the red zone, that's when you eat – Short yardage, that's when you eat. We like to see that. What is your mentality or why, what, what what's, gets you so riled up about the goal line that, that has you being a monster down there? I mean, my mentality mentality is, you know, it won't be stopped. You know, I won't be denied. And when I get that close to the, you know, end zone or, you know, short yardage, I'm going to find a way to, you know, finish the playoff or, you know, get what we need and, that just comes from, you know, training hard and this, you know, won't quit. I don't know. My willpower is just I won't be denied. That's that's pretty much the I won't let be stopped down there. I don't know. Kareem, I, I think the touchdown you scored with 15 seconds left on a fourth down play to beat the Indianapolis Colts, to me, that sums up what the Browns have been this season. Tough, resilient, fighting for everything. What was that moment like crashing through the end zone on fourth down to pull out that victory against the Colts? It was for everything. Honestly, it got to the point like, all right, it's all on you. You got one play to get it in the end zone, and uh, you're either going to win or lose. And uh, what I like my odds at that point. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, I think I like that, and I wouldn't want it any other way. And I, I'm glad they saw that, too, when the game on the line, you know who to give the ball to. Before we let you go, quickly, the ceiling of this team, where can you guys go? I think we can go all the way. If we just, you know, stay connected and play as a team and everybody do their job, I feel like it will be insane for us to, you know, throw this away because we have the players to do it. All the way, Super Bowl, that brings a smile to a lot of Clevelanders' faces. Something else that makes a lot of Clevelanders smiles. What's going on here today? The guys that I've talked to say that they get more out of this than the needy that they're feeding. What does it do for you to come down here, see the need, and feed the need? You know, it, it makes me very excited, man. I, I love being able to, 
you know, give back, especially being from Cleveland and getting out there and doing stuff like this for the need. And uh, I'm grateful to be able to be in this opportunity, be back home and, uh, you know, be able to support people. And that's the biggest thing. Bo has one question before we let you go. Bo, go ahead. Yeah, quick one for me and then quick one for Earl and we're done. Kareem, how's, how's Nick Chubb? I know you and Nick are good friends. How's Nick Chubb? How are his spirits right now? You know, his spirits are great, man. Nick's doing good. He's, you know, on the road to recovery and coming back to being, you know, one of the best running backs in the NFL right now. He's uh, he's locked in, focused, and he's very excited to see us winning and doing this thing and keeping it rolling because – Nick and I, you know, we played four, five years together now. Only thing we want is to win, and nice. that's how it's always going to be. Earl, wrap us up quick. Hey, Kareem, most important question you're going to be asked today from one Clevelander to another. Uh, 2016, <laughs> the Cavs Championship Parade started on Euclid. I tell everybody in here that if the Browns win the Super Bowl, it'll start in Euclid. Am I far out enough or do I need to go further out for the start destination? <laughs> yeah, y'all need to go all the way out to Willoughby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, about 25 minutes down the road, you know, till you get to downtown. I think we need to start there. You know, the hometown. <laughs> and make it a long parade. A long Look, parade. When you've waited as long as this city has waited for that, it can't be long enough. Willoughby sounds like a great starting point to me. I'm good to go 24 hours straight. <laughs> <laughs> problem. Kareem, happy yeah. Thanksgiving to happy you. Happy Thanksgiving, Continued guys. Continued success. Thanks, Keep running that rock with anger and purpose, and we'll see how far this ride takes us. It's been fun. Whatever it takes, man. You know I'm going give to give it my all. There's never <laughs> a question about that. The great Kareem Hunt, number 27, when you need that yard, he's the guy to go to, not just if it's at the goal line, but short yardage situations. <laughs> Give him the rock. He's going to run it angry. He's going to get that first down, move the chains, and keep drives alive. I know you guys.